All right. So a few kids have been asking questions about this series circuit. Uh, I'm going to go through a few things and see if it's helpful to anyone. If I miss something, email me and I'll be happy to address it. So basically, you're connecting the wires by connecting five, six, seven, eight, and you connect all your wires. And when you connect all your wires, you see all three lights in the series circuit turn on. If you want to disconnect a wire, you click on it, X, and now it's gone. And notice that in this series circuit, all the lights go out. That's because you need everything connected for a series circuit to work. Uh, testing for amperes, you basically put your leads here and you can see that the multimeter gives a little bit of current and allows the circuit to turn on. So it kind of can replace a wire. And then if you turn it to amperes, which is right down here, you'll see that we have one amp being pushed through. All this, you're basically doing the same thing, coming up with the same answer. Uh, voltages. All right, now we're going to have to measure voltages. So we're going to turn it to 20 volts, not 200 or 2, but 20 volts because we know our voltage is 12. We want to set our meter to pretty close to what our voltage is going to be to get the most accurate reading. So it's asking you to look at, uh, measure the voltage across L1, L2, and L3. L1, well, let's put the negative on this side. So here we see we have two volts. So L1 is two volts. L, this next one, L2, that's lamp two, we have four volts. In lamp three, we have six volts. So when they all add up, you know, you see we have two, four, six. We have six volts total. I mean, sorry, 12 volts total. So that equals the 12 volts here. Let's skip ahead. All right, we'll go into the second part of the lesson. Okay, so here it's asking, how many volts will the multimeter indicate the diagram opposite? Well, here we're going to have to use Ohm's law. First, we need to figure out what the current is. So what's the total current here? We have 12 volts, so we need 12 divided by resistance. So resistance is 2, 4, 6. So that makes 12. So 12 resistance. 12 volts, so 12 divided by 12 is 1. All right, so we have 1 ampere. The current is 1. We This right here, our resistance is 4. So 1 times 4 is 4. So how many volts will the multimeter So we see volts equals current which was 1 times R2 4 So 1 times 4 sorry I was saying divide earlier my bad So 1 times 4 is 4 Same thing with this one here. If it was up here checking this one, 2 times 1, the voltage would be 2, 2 volts here. And here, 1 times 6, the voltage would be 6.
Let's see here. All right. Let's go back to maybe. All right, so this one here. Oh, it's easier just to show you this way. So how many amperes will the multimeter indicate in the diagram opposite? That's this. So in a series circuit, you're going to add up all the resistance. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3.5. 3 3.5 plus 2.5 is 6. So here we have total resistance 6. So we need to find current. So our formula would be 12 volts divided by the resistance 6 here, the total resistance. So 12 divided by 6 is 2 amps. All right. So hopefully this makes a little bit more sense. Uh, it's my first time making a video like this for you guys. Uh, I'm sure my explanations will get better. But if you have any questions or concerns about any of these modules, ask me and I will create a video and put it on Google Classroom. All right. Have a good day.